All right, put everything away. We're having a quiz. Jack and Joe leave their homes at the same time and drive toward each other. Jack drives at 60 miles per hour while Joe drives at 30 miles per hour. They pass each other in 10 minutes. How far apart were Jack and Joe when they started? It was another baffling case, but then you don't hire a private eye for the easy ones. I stepped out into the rainy streets and reviewed the facts. There weren't many. Two saps, Jack and Joe, drive towards each other at 60 and 30 miles per hour. After 10 minutes, they pass. I'm supposed to find out how far apart they started. Questions poured down like the rain. Who are these mugs? What were they trying to accomplish? And why was Jack in such a hurry? What difference does it make where they started from? I had a hunch after that. Before this was over, I'd be sorry I asked. First, I'd figure I'd ask the Berkovitz dame. Ellie and I never hit it off, although occasionally we hit each other. Ellie had a face that suggested somebody upstairs had a weird sense of humor, but I wasn't going to her place for laughs. I needed information. The way I looked at it, Berkovitz acted awfully smug for a dame who had a head for numbers and not much else. Maybe she's got something on Jack and Joe. The question is, will she sing? No, I won't tell you what the answer is. Do your own work. The Berkovitz dame wasn't talking. Someone had gotten to her first and shut her up good. I knew Allie, and closing her mouth would have taken some work. I needed a clue and a drink. One of them I knew where to find. You made enough trips to the water fountain. Finish your quiz. Suddenly, a gorilla pulled me in an alley, squeezed my spine into an accordion, and played a polka on me with brass knuckles. The inside of my head was exploding with fireworks. Fortunately, my last thought turned on the lights when I left. When I came to, the pieces all fit together. Jack and Joe's lives were defined as integers. Obviously, they were part of a numbers racket. Back in the office, I pulled the files on all the numbers big enough to keep Allie quiet and want me out of the picture. The answer hit me like a 44 slug. It had to be the number they called Mr. Billion. Okay, time's up. Bring your papers forward. One billion. Case closed. What do you get, JP? I think the answer is 15. 